watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez. Here's a look at your top stories. Today is Giving Tuesday, a day of global generosity. People are encouraged to donate to charities or causes they care about, but some scammers are taking advantage of this special day to trick people. Here to give us some insight and tips to make sure your donations are going to legit causes is California Attorney General Rob Bonta. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Honored to be with you. Um, first question here. Your office released some tips this week to help people protect themselves. We had them here on KCAL News. Can you go over some of them with us? I can. And let me first say it's, it's Giving Tuesday. And one of the things that makes California and Californians great is that we look out for each other. We take care of one another. We support one another. And those who are uh, fortunate to uh, have a lot and uh, are willing to give to others, mm -hmm. um, do so. And so I encourage it. I want people to give. And I also want you to give in a way that gets your uh, hard-earned money uh, to the to the, the end user that you want it to, uh, to receive it. So um, that's why we provided the eight tips to make sure that uh, the donations that you give get to where you want it to go. Uh, one of the first ones is just making sure that the nonprofit charitable organization that you're seeking to donate to is in good standing uh, with the California Department of Justice, my office. And you can determine that by using a, a, a search tool at oag.ca.gov uh, under the charitable uh, section. Uh, you can just uh, pick the, uh, the charitable search tool and uh, the registry uh, will come up and it'll show you all of the organizations in good standing. So pick one of those. That means that they are legally allowed uh, to do business in California. Uh, another tip is um, make sure that you are giving to an organization that really puts your donation to work uh, where you want it to go, that it goes into the direct mm -hmm. services to those that you want it to help. Um, you can look at financial records and go onto the website of different organizations to determine how much they spend on overhead uh, versus how much they spend on direct service um, uh, being provided to those in need. Um, there are uh, also um, a couple of ways that uh, organizations can be deceptive. Mm -hmm. One is in their names. Um, so we all know the name, for example, uh, the Red Cross. Uh, but there was an organization that sought to um, benefit from the good name of the Red Cross by calling itself the American Red Cross of California. It was fraudulent. It was not the Red Cross mm. that we know and love. Wow. And we had to shut it down uh, in the past. Uh, websites can also be deceptive. Um, there was a or a, a website that used the name UNICEF in it to uh, really benefit from the, the good name of, of UNICEF. And it was a, a COVID-19 uh, UNICEF relief uh, website, but it had nothing to do with UNICEF, which was at UNICEF.org. Um, um, sometimes there's high pressure tactics. It went from telemarketers who call. And so this is a, a, a fifth tip. Make sure that uh, you are comfortable and that you give if you're ready, when you're ready. You can always hang up on a high pressure telemarketer. You can do your own research. Uh, you can call the organization directly. Never feel uh, pressured in to having to, to, to give. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are also um, uh, additional tips that you can uh, follow to help make sure that uh, the, the, the funding gets to, to where it needs to go. But uh, you always go back to the registry and mm -hmm. uh, looking at our website to make sure. Um, and two other quick tips. Beware yes. of um, social uh, media, uh, online, uh, GoFundMe type of, uh, of funding. Sometimes that money might just go to the person that's raising the money. It might not go to the, uh, a charitable organization at the end. Also, people with QR codes and uh, portable card readers um, those look fancy, uh, but they might not be collecting money to go to a charitable organization. So those are all uh, some of the tips. And finally, I'll just say protect your identity. Use mm -hmm. common sense. Never give your social security number out to uh, a, a nonprofit organization and only give your credit card information right. to a known charitable organization that you know um, is legitimate, is legal, and will do the work that you intended to do for the people in need. Uh, who deserve it. Yeah, you know, I know it's happening because um, my mom, for example, she received a text saying that um, we tried to get a, 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 a package to you 
uh, but you weren't home or and it had even the picture of a USPS truck. Luckily, she called me because I was about to send something and I said, no, 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 that's not me. Ignore that because I have been getting those myself. So my question here is what should people do if they think they've become a victim of, of charity fraud or scams? You can call our office and mm -hmm. uh, that's how we enforce uh, the, the the rules governing charitable organizations to, to make sure that there's compliance and that we mm -hmm. hold accountable those who, who break the law. So oag.ca.gov, you can file a complaint uh, with our office and we will follow up to make sure that mm -hmm. uh, it is a legitimate organization and if it's not, we will uh, hold them accountable for violating the law. Mm -hmm. So please report to us anything mm -hmm. that you think is, is suspicious, is not in compliance with the law. And to your point, the uh, the scams, the frauds, they are more and more sophisticated. Yeah. They can be very persuasive. And, uh, you know, artificial intelligence is being mm -hmm. used so that there's even voice scams mm -hmm. uh, for, from folks that s sound like someone you know who, who's in need. That, that's, a, that's a little bit different than some of the uh, Giving Tuesday type of scams. Mm -hmm. But the point is that there is a high level of sophistication. And, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it, you know, I have the same conversation with my mother uh, <laughs> just to, to make sure that um, she's not being taken advantage of and yeah. uh, we've had some close calls at times and uh, I'm glad I could I could be there to help her out. Do you tell her not to answer the phone if she doesn't recognize a number? That's what I tell her all the time. <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> I do. And, and, and you know, the, one of the things that I love about her is that she uh, believes in other people and she trusts other yeah, people and she here. loves mm -hmm. other human beings because of their, you know, common shared humanity. And that's a good thing. I don't want her to mm -hmm. lose that, but I, I, I don't want her to be naive either. And I don't yeah. want her to be the victim of a scam or a crime. Mm -hmm. So uh, we try to strike the right balance and that's just always being vigilant. And if you're not sure, you know, listen to your instincts, listen to your gut. It's right. usually right. And if you're yep. uh, if you're concerned, report it to us. Well, we're good sons. We're on top of it. Another question here. Has your office seen an uptick in these type of scams? Is something seasonal, something we're seeing year round now? You know, we give these tips um, mm -hmm. to, to arm Californians in a way that mm -hmm. uh, can, can keep them safe and allow them to do what they want to do, to give, to contribute, to be part of Giving Tuesday, to donate um, th their money to those in need and, and so that they can do it in a safe way. And we feel compelled to do it every year this time of year because um, that there's a, uh, a rhythm to scams and mm -hmm. frauds. They, they, they follow um, certain times when people are in the giving mood. Yeah. Uh, the holidays is one of those times. After natural disasters, mm -hmm. for example, That's is right. another time. So we see upticks in scams when there's an uptick in the um, the good mm -hmm. human desire to give to others who are in need. Mm -hmm. So uh, th it's a time to protect yourself while you give, and we hope these eight tips can be yeah. helped. Something we had on the news yesterday, you were at the uh, downtown women's shelter right here in L.A., and the uh, question yeah. is, why was it important for you to give uh, your tips there uh, and then later volunteer? It was all in the, the holiday spirit of giving mm -hmm. and to highlight an uh, incredible organization, the Downtown Women's Center, who has been lifting up women, uh, homeless Californians, transforming their lives, giving them wraparound services, loving them, leading with compassion and empathy and support and services and programs that change lives for the better. And it's that spirit, uh, that uh, track record of success, of giving to others, of helping our community mm -hmm. be better that I wanted to highlight and I wanted to say thank you. And I wanted to say that the Downtown Women's Center and other organizations, many mm -hmm. hundreds, thousands in California are doing this work every day, head down, sleeves rolled up, not doing it for recognition, doing it because it's the right thing to do to help others and they are worthy of other Californians' support mm -hmm. during this uh, uh, holiday uh, time where there's a giving spirit. Yeah. And so I wanted to encourage people to give. It makes us better, it makes us stronger as a state. And then I also wanted to show that besides giving money, you can mm -hmm. give in other ways. You can give with your heart, you can give with yeah. your hands, you can give with your time. So we wanted to mm -hmm. uh, give back by me and my team uh, preparing meals for those in need uh, who are uh, food insecure mm -hmm. and needed a, a healthy meal. Uh, we packed those for, for individuals in LA and we're, yeah. we're proud and happy to do it. Yep, and we just showed pictures of that. So. Thank you so much for your time, Attorney General Rob Bonta. Thanks for joining us and happy holidays to you. Thank you.